testing the power draw of the Insta 360 X4 camera. Good day, folks. Don here from 3VR Power Sports. Recently, I've been testing some action cameras for power draw. So far, I've tested the Insta360 Ace Pro and the GoPro Hero 12. And today, I want to test the Insta360 X4 360 camera. First, a little bit about charging protocols. In the early days of USB, 500 milliamps was the maximum output of a USB power port. And it became quickly apparent that more power was needed and primarily driven by the smartphone market. As the smartphones got more and more capable, they needed more and more power. So the USB committee put together a standard called battery charging and it evolved through a couple of iterations finally to battery charging 1.2 and you'll see BC 1.2 mentioned in various literature. There were some quick charge protocols that were proprietary. One of the most common is the Qualcomm quick charge, but even that wasn't enough to satisfy the power hungry USB charging market. So the USB committee went back and wrote a new spec called USB power delivery. Now that spec is very complicated. It's over 600 pages long and the power levels kept increasing through iteration to where now 240 watts. So today I'm going to be using a couple of different wall chargers. This is a newer Anchor 120 watt USB PD. It also has something called programmable power supply PPS, but we won't be using that. But the cool thing about it is it outputs a lot of the proprietary quick charge protocols as well as the USB PD up to 120 watts. Now, in addition, I'm gonna be using an older BC 1.2 charger. This one happens to be 2.4 amp. So let's get started. First off, I have my analyzer set up to read out to my computer screen. And the first thing we do is do a detect. And you can see right now that the analyzer has detected that the X4 supports this particular quick charge protocol as well as BC 1.2. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to plug the USB analyzer and the X4 into one of the USB power ports. And you'll see it quickly negotiates from five volts up to nine volts and about seven tenths of an amp but I'm going to just let it go for a bit. Let's get this recording started here. And after about 40 seconds, it'll make another request. There it is. It jumped up to 1.6 amps. So you can see the camera's talking to the charger saying, this is how much power I need. Can you deliver it? And the charger says, yes, I can easily. So here we are with the camera off charging the battery at about 14.6 watts, around nine volts at 1.6 amps. So I have a spreadsheet open. I'm gonna update that. Or about 14 watts, and you can see that matches pretty much what it's saying there. So let's save that. All right, so now let's turn the camera on. And notice it suddenly drops down to the five volt BC 1.2 before it renegotiates a new charge level. So it had that big drop right here and then it renegotiates back up to nine volts. But notice the current is much lower, 800 milliamps. So, and we can look at, at an average through here. So let's go ahead and say that with the camera on, we're back up at nine volts and about, let's call it 0.8 amps and about 7.2. All right, so now let's turn the record on. 
and you can see it jumps up quite a bit still holding at 9 volts and current at about 1.2 1.3 somewhere in there let's let this run long enough to see if it renegotiates a different power level and it doesn't seem to be so let's call that 9 volts at 1.3 amps and about 11.7 .7 watts. Let's go ahead and stop the recording, turn the camera off, and, and switch over to the BC 1.2 charger. So let's re-detect here. And you can see it's not detecting any of the quick charge protocols, only the BC 1.2. So where are we at with charging? We're just under five volts at, whoa, two and a half amps. So it's pulling just about all this chargeable output. So let's that run for a little bit. Now, again, this is not a quick charge protocol, so it won't be negotiating any other current or voltage. So let's record that. We'll call it five volts. Close enough and 2.5 amps amps so about 12 and a half watts so we're down a couple of watts from the usb quick charge protocol okay, let's save that and let's turn the camera on let it run for a bit and it's probably average 1.4 to 1.7 let's just round that off to let's say 1.5 so we're 5 volts at 1.5 amps and about seven and a half watts so that compares pretty close to the USB quick charge. Well, let's go to record mode and we can see it's jumped up to 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. So let's call that five volts at 2.4 amps. And you can see we're very close to the record power that we're getting with the quick charge. So I think those are some pretty comparative numbers. Now, the thing to remember here is that this camera right now is running with a factory motorcycle preset on it. And so not everything is running. So this is just a relative test, something that you will find pretty close to whatever your preset might be. There we have it, the a representative power test of the Insta360 X4 camera.